Here's the tape. This is your hit first, we'll do you. Um, is there any match you wanted me to do, specifically? It's quiet, is it better now? Is there any match you wanted me to do, specifically? Is there any um match you wanted me to do, Cargo? Trap. Alright. Heads up that I uh, the. The weekly net play turn is at 8 o'clock, so I'm not going to be able to go too long. Alright. Uh, 
far, far. Probably a lot of mid trait, yep. Let's see what happens. Round start. Round start, fast slash. Uh, risky. I'll also open up a dust loop. I do feel like that's risky. Fast slash round start. It will work against like what if they do a back dash if that's a raid sure but if anything else like that's that's a really risky normal to throw at round start. Like Eleven frame start up that's pretty risky. Five k would be a pretty good normal considering it would each should reach round start. Two p I think might also reach round start. Two K would reach around start. Five K would, but five K would be really good counter pick. So if they did press anything, you just can't hit them because you'd be out already. Mm -hmm. You'd be faster. Mm -hmm. Just a six P, I guess. Yeah, fast slashes are very risky. Just a two as well. Yeah, so that's what I'll just say on that. I do feel like fast slash is a bit of a a risky round start. Cancel to do an item as well, that's fine. Filling up the item. Oh, every time you do a fast slash, you should try to cancel it to something. Alright. So this fast slash should have been cancelled into an item every time you do it. It shouldn't be like delayed, because this is the second time you kind of pressed it late, and I, I, I don't know. I feel like you've missed opportunities to follow up on the item. Anyways, so you throw the item. That needed to be a 6P. That's one missed ant here. If you throw the item, I need jump PR, so I think you were trying to follow up the item. But instead... Being the air isn't too bad against an Elfelt. In my opinion, actually. Because she doesn't have the best ways to deal with you, and you can come down on her a lot easier with jump T and draw all that. But considering you just threw an item, you should probably chill and see what he's doing before you do anything. You can't just throw this at. It is through an item, and as soon as you threw the item, he was already in the air, which means he he did have an opportunity to do like a an air dash like this. So you shouldn't be chilling here. Yeah, it does catch you. I do think you should be chilling a little bit. Just get ready to anti something like this. Anyway, so... He misses it because of the black hole. You should have immediately run up and done uh, 2k here. Or something. 2p, 2k or something. Instead of a 6p, so... You whiff the 6p and you get punished. Fine, you throw an iron, that's cool. Try to 6H. I think I think you have a little bit too much reliance on 6H. It's not a bad move, so it's a pretty good move, but I think you have a little bit too much of an over reliance on it. Especially since like you do have meteors down. Like you just threw meteors. Meteors is a type of item where he's gotta he's gotta get out of the corner, you know? So the first thing he wants to do as soon as you throw meteors is he wants to get behind you, he wants to get out. Or else the mirrors are going to lock him down. So keeping him in the corner is the most important thing here, rather than um, doing this overhead. So air dashes out. The best way to beat something like this is an air throw. So if they, if you're this close in the corner and they air dash over the top, then you chase, you jump backwards and air throw. Because they know normal whiff or something like that. That's the best way to punish that, instead of a uh, 5k there. Throw it meteors, it's fine. That was good. I don't think you should be chasing down the air though. I think you're perfectly fine to be chasing on the ground and poking. Door. <laughs> Now, Frost, eh, so it's a, you know about that, jump S, 2H, you do 2H in the, 
cool. It's good. You burst that, which is a good burst point. Yeah, so now you're being in the air a little bit too much, like, because what he did here, you could have dashed, you could have dashed up here, gone underneath the nade and poked with fire or something and locked him down, but instead you approached in the air here, and this is the, some, one of the situations where he would be good in an air situation. Oh, I forgot to um, ask you, Cargo, is there anything in specific, like specifically you, you like want advice with or help with that I can look at? Or anything you want me to focus on? Just get out of this. I'll give you a sec to answer. No? You just want general review? Okay. A little bit hard. I'll be a bit more general then, I won't go into huge detail. So yeah, that nade, 2H, drills, whatever. So a nade catches you. The door, we, we all know that the door is always going to be risky. I don't think you should be using the door. It works out, but it's risky. I don't think jumping like that is always the correct idea. Like, I think you could have just dashed up and did a far S into an item. Or jumping like this, he could, he could anti-air this. It's obviously a Milia, it's obviously a, uh, sorry, a, uh, an Alphelt, but he could blitz it or something. If he's going to be, he's, he can, he's in the 8th position anti -air. And your jumping's not exactly the strongest. And there's better jump-ins you could be doing as well. You could also be messing up the jump-ins as well with, uh, FDC, but you've kind of just done midi jump best over and over, so, you know. Well, not, not even midi, just done jump S. So, locked him now, jump H. You haven't really done much 2k. I don't think I've seen much 2k at all. And 2k is like a really, really strong normal. So he keeps jumping and he's getting away with it too often. Oh, dog might lose shit. So I definitely want to see more. I want to see way more 2k over 6. 6h is something you can pull out when they respect you, but until they start respecting you, you should be using 2k a lot more. Like, you have really good pressure. You have really good opportunities to do a lot of extended pressure. I'll, sh wait, I'll, I'll, just, I'll show you right now. Like, let me show you some fast pressure. Alright. Let's look at frame data first, actually. So, 5 is plus, 5k is minus, but not that minus. Close slash is plus, but you're not going to be using close slash as much. 5h, whatever, 2b, here's my dog, just a sec. Hopefully it shows them back again. Yeah, 2k, look at this, it's plus. And you can jump cancel on anything. 2p and 2k are really good. All hits are low. So 2k is a really, really good normal. 2s. I think you could jump cancel that. So it's got an ATF probably. 2h is very good. You also have your, your drill. So some... So like, a lot of pressure for Faust can be like... You do like, you'll do jump 2k, you'll do 2k, yeah? And you can just keep doing it over and over again. And you can frame trap as well. Oh, there yeah, there's something. If you really want to lock them down, you can do something like this. I don't think 5p is 2 plus. When she throws a bomb. Is this uh are you talking about the bomb when she does it from full screen or close? Like when you're knocked down. 
Full screen. Alright, so when an elf felt is full screen, what she's gonna do is she's gonna chuck the bomb and then she's gonna follow up the bomb. If you're in the air, she's gonna it, the dance gonna lock you down. You can't can't really do much about it. So when she throws the nade like this, she's gonna cover the screen like this and be aggressive, you know? So the best thing you could do is when she pulls a nade, you gotta you can kinda run up on her. Like you have good tools. Because you can run underneath the nade and do this. Just keep this poke and stop her. So if she's over like here, she'll do something like this. So what you'll do is you can poke her. Poke her. Just, just get underneath her. If you go in the air though, you gotta deal with this. She can knock you down. So you can, you can either try to maybe avoid the nade. It's a bit risky. You could try to avoid the nade. But in general, I, I prefer. I, know, I think. I think you have a really good perk, so you can like. Stop that. Okay, you can very much stop her. Right. Also remember that you do have cre you do have, you do have this, so you can go under nade. You can really go under stuff. Like this? You go under this. While you can be in the air, I'd probably be on the ground when she has an egg, because that's like a really good option for just pressuring. So, with uh, with fast pressure, first of all, 2k is really, really good, because all three hits are low, all hits are jump cancelable, and that's good, because that lets you do stuff like this. And this is really good, this spud is really good. Is it, it, you're still plus after this. Constantly plus. It's really good. Unless you do it like this high. Even like about this high. It has to be this high. You're still very plus. And on counting it, you have so much time to do stuff. So this button is really good. And you can FTC it, which is really strong. So you can do stuff like this. Something like that. So you can jump cancel this over and over. You can also do this. So you can whiff the, the drill and go low again. All, your, all of this stuff is jump cancel. Like, all this is jump cancel. Not this. So you do these jump cancel as well. It's all really good stuff. If 5k is jump cancelable, if 5p is jump cancelable. Frame trap. Man grab. Item. Throw. Because they can't throw. If they throw, and you do this, you have so much damage. 
But you can do this. Maybe, maybe not that. I, I go. Do something like that. That. Up. You know, you can do so much stuff like that. I can't do this. Don't forget, don't forget to use this. I mean, it's more of like an anti thing. Anyways, so you've got this. You can cancel into this constantly and continue pressure. You have this. That's your one way to get into 6 H, which is kind of nice. You can do this. So that's quite nice. What else? Um, also for Oki, so. Depends on your knockdown. If you get something like this. You know, throw an item or something. It depends. I think if you're in the corner. Ah, oh, yeah, this is it. Yeah, you'll do some, do some sort of knockdown. If you do a drill or you do a pogo. That, then you can do this flower, the way I see. I don't know that's like a YC there. What you can do is you'll go into a pogo and then you'll do this foul YRC and it's very active. So you'll do that and you can do stuff with it. It'll be very active. It's like a positioning thing. Escape pressure. Um, for Faust, he doesn't have a DP or anything. His backdash is okay. Generally, what you're going to be doing, the, the easiest thing to do. Is just use your meter to FD them out, push them out, and then you can jump out and do stuff, or you can counter poke if they whip something. If if they do normals to try to get back in, there's plus you can instant block to make the minus for a punish, or just to relieve pressure and make stuff so you can mash a bit. But yeah, FD FDing is really good. Just FDing them out and then being able to do stuff. Also, if you FD. It increases your block stun, which means they can't, you know, they can't jab and then go up for a throw because there's too much more block stun. So I had FD a lot more. FD, then you can jump out and do stuff. Or in some block if you are expecting big moves that are going to try to get them back in that are plus. Apart from that, just FD is very useful too. Don't spam it too much, but use it every now and then just to move them back. And make them have to get back in. Apart from that, you just gotta like understand when they're gonna try to get back in and just smash out. But yeah, other things I can think of like so you gotta you gotta knock down. You do stuff like this. So 
So this is a sort of form of Reiki. You do, have, you do have a bomb okay after uh, the 2D. You don't, you don't always have to do this. You don't have to do that. You can do this. Then... I have this. So what you'll do, then 5k or something, lock him down. She's a lightweight, so I, I think that's why she's not getting knocked down. She's flying too high. But yeah. I don't have too much information on Force, but I will say, instead of doing 6 h over and over, it's just 2Ks. You should use your 2K. Your 2K is so good. You can jump cancel almost anything. For There's lots of work you can do as well, like, you can do this, you know, you can throw an item, lock them down. Make sure you're cancelling, focusing to items. Remember to, R remember to RC? Like, if you do this, that. Wait, what is it? It's... That. You got lots of stuff like that. Also, you don't always have to cancel an item as well. Like if you're here, you can do this. Or here. Go to this. Like these are really good. Because on counter hit, like, this will work. That will work. You're not max range. So. That works. Stuff like that, and you've got a um, this one. Right watch this one. Right But yeah, so let's just say, um, so what happens is if you poke and you throw an item, what they'll do sometimes is they'll try to jump after you've poked. Do that. Try to jump forward on you. So what you can do is that. Now 
I guess a knockdown. And that lets you run up and do stuff. So, thrust is really good. It's just good for cancelling. And if it catches, if it hits on the air, it'll knock down, which lets you run up and do shit. So, yeah, stuff like that. Also remember that you can do this on block as well. I can't get out of block for everything. Bingo. Oh yeah, you can also do this with 6H. Can do, if you want to be safe, you can do this as well. Do I have crouching? Oh, crouching. Right. Down and hit. This probably will work. Yeah, you could do that. You don't always have to do it. You don't always have to, you know, go into that. You can go into thrust, you can go into stuff like that. You do have definitely a lot more options than just, you know. You do have to, instead of just doing 6P all the time, if you really want to lock him down, you can do something like that. So like, 2K is really good. I, I, I'm being a death horse here, but yeah. You have really good options. You can well, have three decent cancers as well. Yeah, so if you did 5P there, you might have locked it down a bit better. 5P into 6H. But yeah, if you're here, and you just go to block by doing 2k, like you could have done um, 2k there and go to blocking. But you could have gone for like an instant high or something or a drill to continue pressure. Anyways, you got hit by that. It's unfortunate. Throw a bomb bag. I wouldn't immediately, if when you land like that, I wouldn't immediately throw a bomb bag. I'd land and then throw an item maybe. Yeah, you're in the, you're in the airway too much. You should pro probably should have chilled here, wait for the bomb, wait for the nade to disappear. Like, because the nade's already out, you can't do anything about that, and she has sniper rifle out. You wouldn't want to go, the only thing you could do is go in the air, but you're so slow in the air that it'd be really easy for her to snipe you. So just wait, wait for the bomb to explode, and then go up, move up. Something like that. But you kind of did, you kind of in the air too much. And then this is, this is what you did, you went up like that. You don't really need to do that. If you really want to be in the air, you can do stuff like this. You, know? you, can, you can cancel it. You can do it with uh, back as well. What you can do is you can... You know, suck around a little bit. And you come down and jump the other side. Or come down to 2k, jump 2k. You know? 
Definitely be doing more stuff like that. Like use use drill, use drill, and two K way more, way way more. Like they're such good normals. And what happened here? Yes, yeah, so this is gonna be punish. Luckily, it wasn't too much damage. Good two H. J set up. Careful the jump pad. An item. Risky. That was risky. You didn't need to do that. You, you could just. What you could have done is throw the bomb, and then anti-air. I definitely try to anti-air way more. Count it, you can't do anything. And without count it, you can't do anything. So if she does this. You can't actually do anything. So that's why you always want to cancel an item. Like that. Let's cancel an item. If she does jump in, you also use two S. Also, do this. This is pretty good. So you actually play pretty decent long range. You kind of get the picture. Definitely be trying to anti it way more. His anti airs are so, so. They're so good. Like this button in general. 6P is so good. 5 okay, that's really good. 2S is okay. This is a good anti air. Okay, so you get the bomb, you do that, just whatever. Could have anti-add that for more damage. Then you dash up into a 6H, it's like, you're doing it too much. 6H, in my opinion, is something that you want to do later on. Like, something you can, like, whip out at this range. Like, you know, do, do some of these, and then you do, you know. Oops. 
you can do something like that at this range. Like, it's something you do when they're locked down. You don't, you don't like knock them down and then do this. You don't, you don't do that. If you're gonna knock them down, then do this. You want to practice something like this. This. This is your overhead. Boy, this is crushing a lot with this. You can just mix it up with going low. Definitely would do any more of that. Just whatever. Nade down. That whiffs, you should have thrown this. So when you're crouching like this, when you move forward, because you can crouch on a lot of shit. Like, let me just show you. See how that works? That whips. You can do stuff like that. When you're doing the backwards scratch, she can't hit you. When you're doing the forward crouch. Whiff. So if she's in the corner, that'll hit. But if you're doing forward, do that. Stuff like that. They should have thrown that there. And then said she pressed punches here. Then you burst, and that's really bad. Shouldn't have bursted there. First of all, I don't think that combo was going to hit. Second of all, yeah, that wasn't going to. I don't think that was. I don't know if that was going to hit or not. Maybe it would have hit, but the burst is just wasted. Then you do the 6 H, and you don't cancel it or anything either. If you're going to use it, then cancel it into like. Hey, Derek. You're going to. You need to cancel it into uh, item or thrust or pogo. Item, item and thrust are safe. Pogo is le a little bit less safe, but it's more damage and more reward. So understanding that is important. Then you're doing a jump S here. Don't jump S isn't good. Like if you're gonna do that, when you threw that, just do this. That that is so much better. Instead of doing this, that's so slow. This is so much better. That is a hundred times better. Trust me. Nice dead angle. Oh, too close. 2k. Use 2k there. 2k. Virus. 6h. Nice. Big damage. Um. Yeah, so she's lightweight, so it's not going to combo. It's not going to knock down, which is a problem. And start. 2k? Okay. Did it. But she got knocked down. Gold burst, that's not good. Try not to use door. Door's not good. Yeah. And you press 2h there. I think... He hits you here, so just just wait. As soon as you press a button, he's gonna he's gonna frame trap you. So just as soon as he hits you like that, just just wait a second. The only thing you can do is throw. Is throw as a punish, but that's it. Anything else, and if you press any other button, he's probably gonna interrupt you and, and counter hit you. So you're in the corner. Uh, as soon as you with that 5D, you should have done 5P 2D. As soon as this happens, just something like that. Or something like that. 
No, don't, don't try to match during 5D startup, just punish, it's minus and not whiffed. Yeah, recovery, if you instant block, you have a punish, but if he, um, in this situation, because it whiffed. Like it whiffed, as soon as you do that, immediately 2D, immediately 5P or 5K 2D there. Would be a lot better. So what can happen? Some of that. Just imagine that. Some of that. You see, this is how you escape FD. Look, I'm just pushing away. And then the... You got stuff like that. Get a punish there. Yeah. It's also here as well, like if we do this situation, you do 2D, see that whiffs? Should be safe there, so... So you do 2H, and each, then you throw an item here, you need an anti-air, you have so much, you have 100, you have really good anti-airs and you get 150 damage off anti-air, so you should definitely be anti-airing more. There's a lot of fundamental stuff, honestly. So practice trying to anti-air more with 5P, 5K and, and 2S. Way more. What happened here? Combo. Tech forward button. 2H. That's good. You should have. Instead of item, you should have gone into uh, going my way. Should, this should be going my way instead of item. Thank you, Dr. Copter. It's a bit messed up. Could have asked that to be safe, but I guess it hits. It's whatever. And yeah. Through item, if you did drill here instead of jump S, if you did drill, you would have counted. You would have first of all, you, you, she would have blown blocking, and second of all, um, yeah, that was good. Risky, but good. I would have preferred you to do um, two H uh, going my way. Two H pogo would have been better. <laughs> After this, you need to throw an item, and then you need to go for a meaty. Something like this. Right screen. Oh, 
Get this. Something like that. Third item. Try again. Or. Or third item blow. After that. Yeah, punish. Remember, you have you have pretty good damage off normals. So stuff like this. Do this. Very easy. You can do what else can you do? You have your FTC, so you can do a lot with that. You meet your FTC. Um, your super is not that good, honestly. Your super is okay for a reversal. Both of them are kind of okay, but I would. I would recommend trying to use meter for stuff like this. We're gonna do this. And if they block it, you can go like this. Like imagine she blocks this. Let me get her to block. You can do this. You're in. What you can do? You're in. And if it does hit, you go for a combo. You know. So we just put it on random. All right, yeah, you can watch the replay of this. So imagine this. Hits, do this. Okay. Do like, something like that. Okay. Yeah, lock down. Stuff like that. Okay. So only a lot of options you could do in there. With the RC. Once again, 6H, no good. Too much. Anti air that. This one, I would air throw. You two, you see, she goes over the top, you need to air throw this, in my opinion. You could try to 6 pair on the other side, but yeah, it's really hard. Then you press the button here, but that's a frame trap spot. If you want to get out of this, you need to do FD here, FD these two hits. It's the 2D wood whiff or something. Ah, uh, that's punish. You could have punished that. Punish this with a throw. Yeah, now you're you're approaching her in the air against the nade again. So you have the you have an item up here. Should be going underneath. She's going down here. I wonder if I get like a marker thing just to write a bit. I wonder if fire is anything like that. I could borrow. Once again, so the thing with Shrapnel is he, he in this match he jumps a lot. Every time he jumps backwards like this, he's gonna air dash forwards. So that's when you need to be ready to anti air. So every time, every time you see someone jump, get ready to anti air. Yep. Then you came down with this. 
thing is, you could have come down with this. Come down with this. That'd be good. Or you can come down with this. Jump D is very good. Come down with jump S. It's not good. Don't, don't use jump S. Jump S isn't that good as a jump in. This is a lot better. Definitely use jump D and jump and jump two K a lot more. You coming down there? P, throw item. FD. Remember to FD that. Example. See that? I'm running. Immediate FD. Immediate. That's how you block that. Immediate. See, so you can immediately stop. Immediate stop. Stop blocking. I think against that you could do this. So against this. Good. Do that. To do that. You do it while it's happening as well. Also remember you can walk forward. Remember, you can also do this. This. Do something like this. You get the idea. You can do a lot of stuff like that. Yeah. So just back dash is good. Yeah. Just back dash that. <laughs> Fire S. Every time you every time you do anything, anytime. Into item. This into item. Like this into item. Do this into item. Maybe not this. Maybe maybe you want to do stuff off this. So. You know. Maybe you want to do that. But definitely this and this. Definitely item every time. You can also do this. You can also do that. Also, we want to do that. But.
Jump near. Six HG yeah. Tiff, uh, punish. No, no punish. Then you try to press the button here, but it's still her turn technically. Just delay cancelled, yeah. Pressing a button here, I wouldn't press a button. If you want to do something, you should jump back. Like you do something like this. This is a good way to deal with pressure. Try that for example. Something like that. Sorry about that. Maybe this stuff is great. This is an example. Instead of poking out, like instead of trying to get counting, you know? So having space to jump back. Do stuff like that. No worries. Sorry, my dogs again. Yeah, you did 2S here. I think you, what you should have done here is that 2S. Well, you could have done 2S, but you could have done like this. If you, if you poked out 2S instead of going like this, this is what you did. Instead of doing that, you could have, you know. Imagine she's blocking this. Good. 
Dangerous, yeah. You the best. You didn't actually have the best that, but you bested that. Anti air this. This needs to be a 6p. 6p, 6p, right there. You didn't need to uh, go into Pogo here. All you need to do, just wait. Because uh, the Faust is coming, so he has to wait. So all you do is 2k, and you can. All you do is like a 5p or something. Then you dash forward, let the Faust hit, and then you do more stuff. I'll show you a quick mini, mini Faust thing. Start with mini fouls, like you can walk right now.
Alright, so dust towards the wall with Faust. Uh, throw this. Some of that. That's probably a combo. Just have to time it properly. Jinx, you have to block that. Block that, it's fine. Bomb. Yeah, you gotta just block some of this. Dash forward, see that's this is dangerous, so he just punishes you. And he's gonna hit you. I think that was a bomb. Is that a bomb? What was that? I don't know what that was. That was a bomb. That was just a normal bomb. So yeah. That was one of your bombs that just killed you, which is unfortunate. Alright. So if you are here, Cargo, um, do you have any questions? I don't know if you're here or not. Anymore. If you're not, then I'm going to go on with Solidus for the next hour and a half. If he's here. Anyways, party Logan. Oh, yeah, that and Diesel. Venom, Venom, Versa, Leo. Leo. Get ready to run. I want to teach Solidus, but I wanted to be here as well, so I'll give him a few minutes before I start with him. But he really, I really like him. There's a lot of stuff I can teach him. He's already got a lot of questions.
JJ, get Solidus. Yeah, it's signed up for some reason. God damn it. Need a solidus, not fucking people who probably can play Venom better than me. I like, can't teach you anything, either of you. I'm pretty sure you guys know everything is like way more about Venom than I do. Drive tips. Uh... All right. If he's not here, I gotta continue because I'm not gonna waste time. He's gonna wait till next week then for a proper review. If he's not here on time. Uh, let's start. Is that what basic? First of all, I'll quickly go over um, his match against uh, the Leo, just to explain some very quick things, because I'm pretty sure that match was a bit not fun. This is this is anti Leo stuff. First of all, first of all, this dash slash thing. The best way to deal with that is to throw it. If it's closer, if it's far away, then you kind of you can kind of interrupt it a bit if you're in time. But apart from that, it's probably going to be plus. It's going to be plus, and you're going to have to block it if you can't interrupt it. You can throw this. He's, you can definitely throw that because he didn't go into back turn stance or anything. You're in the air a bit too much. Interrupt with two H, whatever. I'd interrupt a bit with two D because he doesn't have the best. He's not really low reaching normals. His normals are all high reaching, so two D can do a lot of stuff. Maybe this is a bit more difficult. I think you can you can pretty much I think you can low prop onto this. Alright, 2D. 
two days actually minus. Maybe get a EL. Yeah. Two days minus, and it's pretty minus. It's minus five. So it's not minus enough for you to punish, but it is minus enough for you to, you know, take your turn back. So what's happening here? Because he's spamming today. If you're further away, like here, that's where he That's what he's doing. Okay, interrupt it. But yes. No, I probably won't run this <laughs> yeah, just, just poke it, do the it, and like, it's minus. You can't do anything afterwards. If you press the button afterwards, it's gonna be hit. Pretty simple. This happens a lot, then you get out, it's whatever. So you mash on it, it's good, punish. And now you're trying to get out, but Leo's pretty good at keeping you in if he gets the right read. So you just need to chill there. He didn't some block that overhead. That's not overhead, that's 6H. You need to throw that. It's okay. Good. Should definitely be signing balls here. Yeah, sign balls, hit the balls. <laughs> Alright, I won't go too much into this. Oh, so the shield. It's not throw invincible for starters. It is fully invincible to everything else for a little bit. But if you delay it, you can't punish it. Just don't do it too late because it's like you get caught. So you gotta do it the time. And obviously the easiest thing to do is just throw it. Guys doing about that. Just be careful because sometimes you might be a bit too far. Also your throw is very good for a throw. You need to by that by accident, but your throw is really good because you do this. So yeah, throw, your throw is very good. Chill, chill. But yeah, in, in general, what you want to be doing is just a wall in front of Leo. Leo can't deal with this, so you just, you know, you keep saying balls. Sit down. Sit down. 
Mauer. Das ist. stuff like that, just summoning balls, keeping him out. Then you've got, you've got Stinger, so you can, you know, do this, and then you can check Stinger. Musket, or, um, uh, Carcass Raid. Stinger, Carcass. Stinger! Top of the ball. Remember, you can throw this. You get a punish. That's fine. In general, out of all your moves, uh, <laughs> double head morbid is probably the the worst move to the point where it's almost never Don't use double head morbid. The only reason you use it is like for extra damage. Like, Like that. That's it. Don't don't try to use it for anything else. Anything else is a lot better. Also, I would try. I wouldn't recommend using H, uh, Mad Strong Lila. Because you can't really do much of it. If you do S, you just. You, get, you know, you get. You get I can do it probably. Alright. So I'll, I will explain some basic shit for Venom now. So what Venom Venom's best pokes? He's got his best pokes are Fire S. His choice is insanely good. It's really fast and it's really in range. And it's pretty low as well. But it's not low, but it, it's low on the ground, so it's good. And 6P. And 2D. 
5k is also okay, I guess. But 6p is like a god tier anti -air. And a good poke that you can just poke through. And 2d is just easy hit confirms, it's your knockdown, low profiles, it's everything. So generally what you're going to be doing is stuff like this. I also place S is really good. So it's a lot chart, it's a lot of chips, a lot of blocks done. Jump cancel any of them. I don't know, 6H is, 6 H is a 6 H. But these normals are kind of okay for other things. TK is I guess TK is also a pretty good normal for you as well. So what you're gonna generally be doing is you get close. You wanna, you wanna get a knockdown is is Venom's game. So he wants to keep away and then he wants to kind of get in. Because he, he has really good he has really good knockdown pressure. He's, he's got really good knockdown okay he's got really good pressure when he gets close because you can you know stuff like that but he and he's got really good um a keepaway game with balls and shit the main problem is he doesn't his defense isn't that good his normals are you have to be other they have you have to be good with them you have to be good with him and you have to be good with him to begin with just to get your game running and then get him knocked down and shit because you're not gonna you don't exactly have normals to you know go in your normals aren't exactly there to go in with <laughs> what you're gonna be doing most of the time is using balls to help you get in so you'll do stuff like you know like this yeah. hit that and hit that and the balls are covering you and stuff like that all right so so every time you poke with a normal, try to cancel it to something. If you're closer, like if you, if you do 2D, then going for that is fine. Get your ball out. Generally, you want to also be going into P ball, except for OK situations. Where you're going to P ball. So P and K are your, your most used balls. P is just to shoot stuff. K is in neutral, it's, you know, you can jump up and get it, or it can be like an anti-air ball, shoot up like that. Um, if you're close, you can do something like QV. QV is a good frame trap, and it's a good way to summon a ball while getting the block. So you got stuff like that. Um, because he has a lot to him. That's a problem. I kind of get. I kind of get your set. How about this? Uh, okay, I'll start with. Uh, I'll start backwards. I'll start with Oki. So with Oki, is Oki is very simple. So you. If you're mid screen, you're gonna sweep. Do that. And that's your, that's your okay. Get low. That's your high. It depends on what type of a what type of knockdown you get. If you just get one into a sweep, then you do something like this. You get a couple of highs there. You know. And you want the ball to hit as well. Like this. Oh, yeah. this is also your general combo, is this? Oh, 
Oh god, there's too much of this character. I don't know if I can explain everything. Alright. Just, if you put simply, if you get a knockdown like this, if you if do this combo, this will be the first combo you practice. Because if you're doing this, anything like. Just sweep, and if you do this. Do high low. Let's do high low. That's your, that's your high low for no one. If it's this one, then if, you, if you're too close, maybe do something like this. Do a dash, you do a cross, cross back first. Do something like that. Something like that. You just keep looping it over and over again. If you're in the corner, um, you do this. But if you really want to be advanced, you can do something like this. So you QB the people, and then you do it. Cable jump. Oh, so much for me to explain. <laughs> so that, we'll put it at that. And then your last one is like if you want to do something like this. Let's do off, you can do off this. Okay, I think he's heavier, so usually what people do is just this. Which is much trickier. The way to curve the ball back, if you hold forward and then down. So if you, because when you do this, you have to hold forward. You go forward, but to make it move back, you have to hold down. You have to kind of do it before the ball comes out. Do something like this. Yes. So there's that. Now we move back. So pressure. Pressure for Venom is 
Your normals aren't really good for continuing pressure. Like you don't have plus, you don't have a lot of plus normals. But maybe five P, I guess. Two K, not really. The only thing I recommend, the only thing I could say of two K is you can tick through. Where he's gonna get most of his pressure is stuff like this. If I get blocked. Stuff like this, or some high struggles. So Carcass Ray is really good because it's really plus. Then you can mix it up by like, you know. Stuff like that. Make a stuff you can do like that. In general, what you're going to be doing, like, you're going to be using balls. Mostly, carcass is probably your best extension, in my opinion. Stuff like this, I guess. You can use us, you can use RC very well. Also your anti-air combo. Um, so without counter hit, it's this. One would be that, or you could also do something like tricky. So that's the basic idea of pressure. As experiment with that. Try not to always. If, you try, if you're gonna use 2D, you keep yourself safe by. Because really, this is very unsafe. If you're gonna be safe. You do that. 
but you can do like with the caucus. Then you can continue pressure on caucus or something. So getting in, like I said, it's pressure. Getting in. So of course you can, you know, you can just set balls and you can move up with them, and you, you can't really interrupt them. You can make the ball lower. You could do a ball up like that and approach with it. Do that. What else can you do? If, you, if you're at a further range, you can, you know, QV. That could summon a ball. You could also, um, if you want to make an instant ball, you could do that. Do this. That's a ball on the screen that they have to deal with. If you want to be faster, you can something like that, and that's going to cover the screen. If you want a combo, something like that. That's uh, some good ways to get in. Honestly, unfortunately, the thing is with Venom is there's this is where the whole like the amount of depth comes in because it's like I could do so much stuff. I could do this. I could, I could do that. I could go like that. You know. I get there's so many, there's so many, there's like a whole, there's a lot of information and articles on, on teaching you how to help you do this, but that's just a case of where it's like so much. Anyways, what one do we got? Got an hour, 56 minutes, it's not bad. Alright, so I'm gonna look at your match against, uh, I'm going to do the uh, the match against. I think I did one of you against uh, Diesel. Yep. How'd this go? You lost two zero. Alright, so jumping back, honestly, round start 2S is really strong. Round start 2S is just super strong. Like it's really fast. Ball summon. Maybe not carcass. Maybe not carcass. Super strong. 
Other round starts that are good, uh, 5k and eh, 2 6p is really good. Because there'll be a lot of loop high profile moves. 2d is also kind of okay, but 2s, 2d, 6, 6p are the best. I wouldn't do fire slash, I'd use 2s. Alright. So, when you jump back like this, and you, you can set one ball, that's fine, but as soon as you set one ball... So she let you get away with two balls, which is a bit rare. Usually they only let you get away with one ball. So every time you set a ball, you should remember, like, they could be coming... Like, you might have any time to set up one ball, which is when you're going to get ready for an anti-air. So in this case, she let you set up two balls. And then she jumped at you, but what you should have done is anti her. Like, just 6p. Your 6p is the best if it's... it's 7 frame startup, it's super super strong anti-air, there's nothing that can be it. It's so, it, it's just so, does so much, like, so good. No hope. Even this would probably have a hard time. Even a low one. Yep, even a low one would have so much trouble. Six P is just so strong. So what you should have done here, every time if if you every time you're like full full screen and they can't do anything about it, then set up a set up two balls, set up four balls. But if they're in a position where they can get on you instantly, try to only set up one ball. Like you could probably run in and get on top of you before you could press a button if you press two balls here. But Diesel's slow, so you got lucky here. So then when she does come in, you got to anti air. You got to keep her out. So this should have been an anti air. First of all, you left your balls alone. <laughs> you could have used your balls to anti air, or you could have pressed five p or something to cover the ground, and she had to, she can't run at you because of the ball, and that caused it a block, which would give you your turn. Or she could jump at you and get anti-air by 6p or something. Or get hit by the ball, because there's a ball there and the ball will cover you. The ball add is like added is like extra extra anti-air value. Anyways, then you'd come down with no button from this. You could have come down with jump H. Jump H is a very is a pretty hard to anti-air normal for most characters. Because it reaches down really low, so you didn't come down with jump H, which is not good. Come down your balls, you're shooting balls off, it's fine. Honestly, as soon as you shot that ball, she has to deal with that ball. So the only thing she could do is crouch under it. I think can she crouch on I think she can't crouch under it, considering where it is. She can go on she has to crouch under it or she has to block it. So because of that you shouldn't be afraid. Like she can also jump over it as well, but because of that, like you you backed off here when the ball hit, then you did that, which is I don't know. This is where like some of the depth comes in because you did that. You could have followed up on the ball. You could have dashed up to the two S if she was crouching. You could have instead of jumping back here and doing that as well, you could have done jump D, jump back jump D or something, and that would have got that ball, something like this. Sit down, sit down. Uh, do something like that. Do that, but you're gonna, you know. You could also have done this. 
ここだ。Like if she's right there, she's blocked the ball. ここだ。Maybe fall off on it. This is good. Cut it out. Hit. You got in close. You should have anti-ed that, honestly. Anti-ing is so important. You have really good anti-ers for it. It's fine. This should be an anti-ed. This should. See, since you didn't anti-ed, this should be a throw now because she landed. She could throw you, and you should throw her. The first person who throws usually wins here. So you two p two. That's fine. That needed to go into two two d. Everything needs to go into knockdowns if you can do it. So this would probably should go into two d like that. I'd even skimp out on the damage. Like you, you can confirm it like that if you want to, but I would just, you know, do something like this. If you, if you really, if you really want to confirm it, you really need it because your knockdown game is super important. And knockdown lets you get, lets you set up balls, lets you set up Oki, lets you do so much. So knockdown is super important. She try to chase you down. Jump back. You jump back, which is it's okay, I guess. Jumped in. You backdash at 2k. Then you do 6p to S. Is good. Unfortunately, you didn't do that. Doing anything. Like you didn't. You didn't go. You didn't do 2s into a ball summon or 2s into QV. You like you need to get a ball out. You could even do 2s into a carcass raid or stinger. Just just something to extend the pressure. Like I think you tried to 5 HP. You're so far away at that point. You could throw her here, she's too close. Punish. Mash that two P need that two P mash, double tap the two P, because you need to get that get that into a knockdown. To a two D there. Knockdowns are so important. You could have poked her there to kill her before she'd summon that. But just press a button here, like fast slash into a ball summon here. You could have come down with jump H there. I don't know why you did double jump H. Like you could have got it a block. Like this jump H, I don't know if she could have anti had this in time. You would have got out of block, you would have continued pressure. Stay again. Oh, I came with 5 day. What happens, that's not a good burst point. You should burst immediately, like here. If you really want to burst, you can burst this. Apart from that, you should just chill. And don't burst. Lucky, like he, he shouldn't have dropped the combo, but he dropped it. <laughs> Also need to be kept like as cool as good as six P is, it doesn't hit low enough. So if she go if she gets close and goes underneath you with like a two D or a two S, she's gonna hit you. So six P abusing six P too much isn't the best thing. Abusing situa two uh two S would be a lot better in this situation. That's why two S is like also very, very strong. Like you'll probably be using six P, two S and two D like the most. Double head morbid. You can also be pressing 2D here. You're trying to press 5P, but 2D was going to be bad here. Ball. Then you hit the ball. It's fine. I wouldn't press virus here. If you want to press virus, you should have done it further back. You should be pressing 5P here. Because if you press virus, you'd be whiffing a big normal and she could jump in easily. Also, you missed that anti here. Even though she has pinned, you probably should still be anti in this. I think you could have still anti that. The fact she doesn't have pin though is good. You keep doing H though. Should be doing P ball here. P Q V. Oh, you hear Soldus. Okay. Um, Soldus, is there a match you? I've gone over like I've gone over some stuff with Leo. Uh, and I have explained some basic game plan shit for Venom. Is there anything specifically you, you have questions for though? Anything you want me to look at or give you advice on? And also, did you want which match did you want like the most advice from? Did you want it from the Diesel one or the the, the Milia one or the Leo one? Mother's happening better. Restart the music. It's 
literally gonna finish in 40 seconds. Neutral combo, okay. All right. Okay, diesel. All right. So I've already explained simple I've already explained neutral to an extent, combos and okay, I've explained it to an extent. Get out of pressure. Getting out of pressure with Venom is because he doesn't have any reversals or anything. What he's gonna be doing is he's just gonna be FTing you out and trying to poke out or trying to jump back. He's trying to get out like that. He's gotta use system, he's gotta use general tools. You could also kind of like poke with like 5p or 2k to get out, but in general, also his 2s is not bad. 2s and 2d are not bad. So if like there's pressure going on, stuff like that, then you know, good. Just stuff like that. You can also jump out a bit, you can empty them out. So use F my first my first advice to anyone that's playing use FD a lot. Just just experiment with how much FD you can use. And then you can start using a bit less of it because it costs a lot of meter. So just using it to like get them off you so you can do stuff is is very good. If they use like a plus like a forward moving normal, like then maybe you want to like you know sometimes you want to IB that. This one isn't this one's punishable. It's, it's, it's kind of useful. Yes, it is a block. But yeah, simple combos stuff like... Simple combos is just anything into a 2D. Make sure you get a 2D, you really need a 2D into a ball summon. And the standard combo is something like this. That's on standing. If they're crouching, then it's a lot harder. Because yeah, first of all, you have to realize they're crouching. If they're crouching, you have to do like that. We could do something more advanced. Something more advanced for damage. Let's go damage on that one. Uh, for anti airs, which is before, but. Trickier because she's light. Uh, this character is specific, this one. It's way specific. Uh, yeah. Just using FD in some block when you can and pokes. Like you, you don't want to, you don't want to poke too much because your pokes are very slow. If you're at like a, if you push them out a lot and they try to come back in, then a poke with two S or two D is very valuable. But if they if they do like this, you know, like this, like that, like I'll just do it again. Then. You gotta be killing the cat boy. So 
like this could happen. Get frame trap. Depends. Sometimes, sometimes you just wanna, you know, jump out. We have to move a bit more than move out, stuff like that. You gotta be careful, because not everyone is right. You just get hit. I'll just frame check you a lot. Oh, what was I talking about? Ah, uh, yeah, so that's. So this is a damage throw combo. And this is a. This is a. A, a trick. This is a really good Oh yeah, I forgot also to mention, if you do have a lot of meter, because you, you can use meter on stuff like, on stuff like uh, this. Like if you do have a lot of meter and you want to do some tricky yoki, you can do this. Do a mid screen. you can do it anywhere. No, oh, this is like extremely good in the corner So they have to hold all of that and you're just you you get a ball down. Maybe just do a simple one like this. So that's, that's good stuff to... Yeah, his general defense isn't that good. His fastest perk is like 2k or something, or 5k. So let's check. His mid-range perks are like really fast, but his, his close range perks are really slow. Also, Dust Loop has like so much shit. Like, look at all this stuff for Dust Loop. Oof. Akazim, everything. He's like so, there's so much lab time on him. Yeah, so he's 5p, he's 6 frames, 3 or 7. His 2k is fine. His 2k is as fast as normal. So it's his, it's his best normal to poke out with his 2k. Yeah. But like I said, his Oki is really good. His pressure is pretty good. His neutral is quite good when you, you know, you set up and shit. I've already, I've already explained like a, a good chunk of it beforehand, so I won't go into that too much. Like if you watch back the VOD, you'll see I'll, I'll talk about a couple of things. So I'm gonna go through this here. This is kind of good. Good ball. Yeah, it should be P. It should be P ball. Should be P R Q V. So you can close it it, so you can hit it with a five P or something. So I six. You should have been six Ping here instead of six Hing the ball. Six H could have worked, but yeah, six P would have been better. Should come down with a jump page here. This should be a jump page. Try to jump P. Lag. This should be a. This should be an anti-air. Try to only. You only press one ball here. 
if you have time, like if you really, really, really have time, you could do two vaults, but it's it's a risk because now you have to block this. You might not get anti-air in time and you really need your anti-air. So one ball and just anti-airing is, is one ball and just waiting for it to kill itself is a lot better than just trying to summon two balls. Try and hit the ball. If you really want to get to the ball, you can like land and teleport or something. There you go. You're over here. Sit down. And she's over here. If you, really, if you really want to do that, you can teleport to the ball. Your anti-air is your bread and butter. So if you're here, if you set up two balls and they're already on top of you, or they're, they're already in front of you, because they don't even have to, they just have to run at you. Like if she's right, if she's dashing at you while this is happening, then you've kind of lost, because you, you can't poke back, you can't poke with two S or anything. Well, you could, you know, you could do this. Cover yourself a bit. An anti air can come in because I've already, I've already shown like how stronger his anti air is in the VOD. His anti air is the best in the game. Bro, you can just follow up this ball behind it. You can just walk behind this ball and they go deal with the ball. They get, you know, sort of the wall. They don't approach you. Anti air, they come in. Yeah, stuff like that. The, the balls you're going to be using the most are P and K balls. P ball is, you can do it really low, you can do it high. K ball is just something you jump at, so you see your Oki tool. It's also good, like anti air tool. A 2s should be into a ball summon. If you, you're, you're, I think you're too far for 2d here, so it should be into a ball summon. You should always be trying to summon into balls because balls are really important and you can just use them. Also, air dashing and then doing jump page, I wouldn't recommend that. If you if you really really want to air dash, you could you know do something like this. Jump S, jump H like that. And then you can, you know, you can mix it up with this. Yeah, just air dash jump H is gonna... All air dash jump H is gonna do is... You're gonna do this. She's gonna block it and she's gonna throw you. Jump as jump H is a bit better. Depending. And honestly, you shouldn't be air dashing that much. You should be. If you really want to move forward with a ball, or you really want to move forward, you should be doing something like this. Just to cover you. You can do stuff off it like that. Sit 
Stuff like this, I guess. Ideas. Wait, wait, did I have the right screen on the entire time? Fuck. Wait, did I have the right screen on? I'm not going crazy, am I? Yeah, I'm paranoid. I'm going to check if I have the right screen or not. Okay, I did. Okay. Thank God. Alright. Okay, immediate jump page. I'm not gonna. Immediate air dash jump page. I'm gonna work. You should come down with jump page. Which is what we did. Good. Ball. That. See. Uh, he doesn't have too many frame traps, but that's one frame trap where he actually gets good damage off it. It's kind of hard to convert off it, but. It's there. Anyway, is that close? I should have gone to something. Close slash in a 2H. Six B that, even though it's a pin there, you should probably still try to anti air that. Actually, in my opinion, you should if if she's gonna do that and she has pin, like as you get better, pin might pin's a good way to deal with your anti air. So you're going underneath it, just dashing underneath it, dashing away from it is, is a good option. Because you'll avoid pin and you'll you'll punish her when she comes down. Or something. Or see so yeah. She has the whole advantage, so you just want that. <laughs> um, I've already mentioned this before, but H heavy uh double head more uh, heavy cart not cart straight. Heavy mad struggle is not isn't as good as S mad S mad struggle is a lot better because you get a you get a knockdown of S mad struggle. It's faster, and you don't get that ender, which is punishable. You're a lot safer off S. So S mad struggle is a lot better. Can't hit there. You're letting it. You, yeah, don't let her do that. She just kind of did a knockdown, jumped over to that. You should just punish her right here with 2S. Or 2K or 5K or something. Just immediate punish. Or 2D. 2D would have worked as well. Because you would have gone underneath. Yep. Then you jump forward here. Don't don't jump forward when they do stuff like this. If like if they do something unsafe, then press fire S. Fire S into a pull ball. Pull ball summon. Like just two three six P every time. Like if she's gonna, you know, she's gonna do that. Then just that. Or if she's closer. <laughs> Stuff like that. Honestly, being in the air as Venom is uh, not as good. His his best tools are on the ground. He, if he's going to be in the air, it's going to be for him running away most of the time. Defensive, being defensively in the air. Or when he's forced to like tech from something. It's so, like, this is be the, like I've mentioned before, but situations like this. When you may be running away like this. When you have a ball behind you. And stuff like that. Like, generally you're not going to be in the air as much. Obviously when you do need an air dash, you do need an air dash, but... But you need an air dash and get in on someone. Because they're poking at you from long range, or they got a projectile, and you, and you can't set up. Then yeah, you got to air dash sometimes. But doing this, just you know, trying to trying to do this, 
Yes. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't. I would, I, if I'm gonna go forward with Venom, I'm gonna have a ball cover me because you always want a ball to cover you in like so many situations. Or I'd be doing like, a medium internet ash forward or something like this. Give them this arrangement. If I really, if I really need to punish something like a like a gun flame or a projectile, then I'd do that. But apart from that, like this is a lot better. Or just doing this and then setting up balls and making them come towards you and then anti-airing them. Or if you really want something, you can do that. And cover it, follow it. That's so much better. He's not really a jumpy character. That was good. Uh, try not to go into 5H. 5H isn't the best thing to go into. Like at this range, at this range, two S, two S, at this range, two S is there's nothing that's gonna reach at that range. If you use two S, you're pro at that range, or even at like most ranges, two S is probably not gonna cancel into anything else. So which is why you go usually go into a bull summon or into stinger from two S at that range. Because like I mentioned before, you could do stuff like this. My do that. So you can you can do stuff like that if you're at that range or you know, pull something. Or just 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 a normal stinger. So you're jumping around too much. You should really be controlling the ground with 2S. If she if she runs at you, 2S, 2S and 2D and far S are just gonna destroy her. If she jumps at you, 6P. If she has a dominant ground move that can maybe beat out your ground move that's a bit higher up, then 6P is probably gonna beat it with its upper body in well. 2D can also potentially beat it as well. And if they have a, a good long range low normal, then um, 2S 2S or maybe 2D could deal with it somewhat, but it's tricky. Switch. So yeah, this. You jump around a lot. So on a ball. It needed to be a P ball in my opinion. If you really wanted to play defensive, you could have done a uh, an S ball or something and jump back. Jump back, jump H, or jump back, jump D or something. And like hit it on the way down. Jump back, jump S, jump H, maybe even jump K. And just hit it on hit it on the way up. And the ball covers you while you while you fly away a bit. You could have done that. Alright, so this here, this this combo situation. Literally, 2P, 2P, 2D. He confirmed into it in the 2D, and then 2D. It's it's all you need. You don't need, this is this is a bit of damage, sure, but you don't get knocked down, you don't get in your loops. You really need you really need your ball summons. You really wanted to get knocked down because then you can go into high lows over and over and kill her. 2D, she can throw this, you can throw this here. She goes off for a throw, which is, yeah. She gets you low. Jump H, I mean, yeah. If you, if, if you ended them with 6P, it would have been better. If you air throw her. Also, your air throw is really good as well. Your air throw is really good. So, your 6P and your air throw have good value. That, well, your 6P is really good and has good value, and your air throw is good value. And it's also an air throw, so it's pretty good. 
So yeah, this is where you, if you press 2S here, and you jump forward, but she ran at you and press 2D. If you press 2S here, you would have beaten her. Or 2D. Because your, your ground normal is also really good. And really good at stopping her. Alright, so you did... You did 2S. And you go into 5H, that's way too far. 2S was hitting at a range where it's so far anyways for anything to hit. So 2S into a ball summon, or into a stinger, would have been better there, or QV. If they were a bit close enough, yeah. She could combo off that, doesn't know. Jump forward. Literally, fast slash. As soon as she does 2H. First of all, off 2H, I don't think she can get much. Yeah, two, first of all, you have to get it out. 2H doesn't get much, like, she can't, she doesn't actually get anything off it. So you're not, you don't have to be scared of that. You can go to 2D, I guess, but that's nothing. She can jump, cancel it. But you can just anti or something, if you, if you go to that. Or air throw. So, punish her with fire S, we just get hit the burst, that's fine. Um. So, as a tech trap thing, so when this happens... I'll show, I'll show the situation over here. Let's say you burst them into the corner. They tech. What you can do is you can lock them down like this. So you can't you can't anti him like this. So we never attack. Also there's this. So in that situation, you can trap it like this. And this is in most air tech situations if you keep them here like that. But yeah. Just gonna check something so quick. I only have like 10 minutes before the tournament starts, so we'll go through this at a decent rate. Alright, so 2H, so whatever. So she, what happened here was, she did 2H, she jumped, so this, you just need to chill here. Sometimes it's just alright to block. FD them out, block them out, and if they overextend, you punish them. Because maybe she doesn't, she doesn't jump here, you just 6P her, as soon as she comes down. This, you press the QV, and you press the... You pressed, uh, you did a special move, yeah. This should have been like a, a 2k or a 5k. Or a 2s, or, or something else. Not a QV. Then, yeah, you gotta just block this. Just chill, let her do some stuff, let her, let us push herself out. That's an overhead. It's just something you gotta deal with. It's not too much damage, but it's just something you gotta deal with. Hit block, nice. You get you can get an anti-air off that as a punish. You can punish that as anything, actually. You can just dash up 5k 2d. Yep, so she does the disc. I think she did it too slow. So if you do 2k 2d or something here, or just 2k to make a block, you might have stopped her. It's fine, you block all this. 2s, if you 2s her there, do would have been a punish. You would have stopped the disc. Um, it's a risky ball summon. From this range, considering she did that, she could air dash back in, so you need to be careful. But when she landed like this, you could do a, a, a p ball summon, in my opinion. A P ball summon because that will help you. Okay, if you wanna if you wanna like help anti air, then a cable summon would be nice. If you wanna just control her on the ground a bit more than a P ball, just to shoot that along the ground. But yeah, you did you did, you did an S ball, so that was a bit of a mistake. You did a QV S ball. So first of all it's slower, second of all, you can't really use that. So I don't think you press the button here. That's a punish, you should just dash up and and do it uh like a 
Uh, for you, just a 2D punish, but if once you get better, it'll be like anything else. I could call it slash punish. Here, you teleport it up, which is you got lucky there. You shouldn't hit you in time. But you should have come down with like a jump H. She definitely should have come down with like a jump H and punished her. Or just took your turn. Alright. So you FD a bit, and then she just you don't you don't immediately jump here. If you really want to jump, you should have jumped, try to jump like a bit, a little bit faster, I guess. You could have FD'd, and if you were gonna, if you're gonna do, I guess also a delay jump there was fine as well, but you should probably have FD'd this. Like, done like a jump FD. Depends. I mean, you're you're a little bit screwed here, because she has, you have like no health to work with, but yeah, she was gonna, she was gonna like pressure you. Jump H is good. You're in the air too much. After this jump page, you could have done Fire Essence and a Ball Summon and got a ball out, which is important. Jump. Yeah, that's a bit awkward. I'd be scared about putting a ball here because she could immediately run up and kill you. So I'd probably wait. I'd wait for her to do something and I'd try to punish her here. Because she can immediately. She can dash in and, and punish and like take her turn while you put a ball down. You'll be blocking, but you can't counter poke her and, take, and make sure she doesn't get close to you. So. It, like when you think about Venom, there's obviously there's for Venom you you want to have a ball out yeah, but you also don't want them to get close to you to put you in your like your worst range normals because then they'll slowly work their way in and get into even worse range normals. So you, whenever you summon a ball, you got to make sure that you keep them out. I mean, sure they won't punish you and they won't hit you, which is good, but they're gonna get you to block at a range where they're able to do more stuff and you're you're a little bit weaker and sure you have a ball but you weren't able to defend so you got to be careful so that's why slipping in a ball here would have been maybe fine but it's risky yeah i maybe slipping in a ball like if they respect you and they understand that if they dash in you're gonna like tear up their shit with an air tier or two p or something a two s and sure but just yeah getting a ball here would be fine so this is weird Look up 6B. This should have been a 2S. 2S. Uh, I don't know if you could have done 2D here, but like a 2S ball summon or 2S QV might have been okay. You did 2H instead. I wouldn't really poke with 2H. 2H is like a combo filler. Or a block string filler. More than a poke. So summon balls. You should have summoned. As soon as you burst like this. PK. PK ball immediately. Maybe just one. If they know what they're doing, they can uh, air dash YRC and get on you immediately. So I do one immediate P-ball and I'd get rid of Antia. But you did a QV instead, which is slower and you did the H1 so she gets on top of you. It's fine. Ball summons. You need to summon a ball here. After that, at least one. And you've got to at least shoot it to control the screen. So they have to either jump over it or they have to duck under it or something. Or they just have to take it while you get on top of them. 2H. Yeah. Now you're just pressing buttons. That's that second hit of that hair thing is an overhead. Nice. Okay. So you did get a combo, but I would have done 5k or 2k 2d here. Jump H, 2k 2d. Get a knockdown, get a ball summon. I would have pressed jump H, jump S here. If you because you jumped over here, I would have come down with the jump S here. Because jump S is behind him. It's also a decent normal in this situation. Oof, let's get that knockdown. Oof, yeah, and TSC, yeah, you're just jumping too much. Because you could have just fire us this again and stopped that from happening. Also, the more your time you're in the air, the less time you can set up balls and shoot balls that are. Okay, it's a bit odd. Like I, I mentioned before, your best use of meter is FD, maybe a day angle on defense, and YR, Stinger YRCs, Stinger RCs, if you want to combo off them. Stinger YRC neutral is also pretty good just for extending pressure. And the big ball, which I forgot the name of, for Oki, on just pressure. Dark Angel, just a normal Dark Angel over over the top of them, which is really really good. Like I already showed how strong that thing is. 
in that situation. If you have like meter to spare. Anyways, so you press fire S there. Even if you 6p, this is a bit worrying because her, her needle will probably kill you here for counting it. You press a button here, but she's hit first, so 2d. And that's just a cross up and you went blocking the right way. Alright. So, do you have any more questions, Solid? Solidus? Just gonna muck around while you wait. While I wait on those questions. I guess if there's no questions, I am going to play a little bit of chip quickly in a warm up for the tourney. So I guess if you want to just stick around for that, I'll do that for like 10 minutes as a warm up. And after that, I'll just upload this. JJ, if you're there, fight me. Let's 
Oh, I get first seed, that's funny. I just, no, fairies in here. I get first seed. You screwed up, Derek. <laughs> that's what I got. Run on this mess. Because I have to, like, sweat. Duel, Duel. Two. 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 Keep on rocking. Hit up that this count. Need to update the, uh, the name. The donation state. Crazy, correct. It's not over yet. Oh, you could have blocked that. Counter. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Get ready to rock. Heaven or hell. Duel. Duel. One. One. Let's rock. Okay. 
Yeah. I fucked up, I should have uh, RC'd the, the wall playing uh, Yeah, well, 
I don't need a care because I'm second seed, so I only have to wait first round. screwed up. Use one okay, deck is line, I'll play one match. Good luck. Good luck. Chip chip versus, versus. Axel. Axel. Get ready to run. How much then I'm gonna stream. Gonna turn off stream for Tony. And host and shit. Heaven or hell. Duel. 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 One. One. Let's, Let's rock. rock. Oh, no. I like Blade. Oh, I see, because I was going to do that. I don't think I'm out. Duel. Duel. Two. 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 Turn up Turn the up heat. The heat. Alright, stream of time, I'm gonna host Derek. Capitals in there. Spell properly. Derek. <laughs> 